we all have to work together to bring about this transformation, democratization of vehicle safety that we want so that every single consumer, no matter where they are, whether it's in Latin America, Asia, Europe or North America, they're all being offered a basic safe platform in a vehicle, a vehicle that can survive in a crash and also hopefully a vehicle that has the technologies that will avoid them having the crash at all. Well, one of the really critical roles that Global NCAP plays is to really be a voice around the world. So we can see absolutely that they have raised the standard of safety for the entire world. You know, the work that uh, Global NCAP is doing in terms of uh, bringing safer cars to lower middle income countries is so important in getting the same sort of levels of safety in vehicles. I believe that safety should be a very important value in buying a new car and Global NCAP are very important to, to ra raise the value of safety. They're doing a great job for road safety. We promise with the Sustainable Development Goals to half the number of deaths from road uh, accidents. Uh, it's a promise made by world leaders uh, in New York, but there's no chance we're going to live up to that promise if we do not build safer cars and also build and sell safer cars in poor countries. Uh, and that is why the vehicle regulations, the car testing, is essential. Well, in 2015, Global NCAPs actually had some really important strides forward. Hugely important for us is that we've joined the Bloomberg Global Road Safety Initiative. That extra support gives us the strength to develop further our work and extend our crash test activity and in particular gives us the opportunity to launch new initiatives like the Stop the Crash Partnership. The Stop the Crash Initiative is a very important uh, point in the decade of action for road safety. Uh, we are showing to the consumers, authorities, and we are going to keep showing it in the next years around the world. We are going to be stopping in different countries, showing technologies like, for example, ABS for motorcycles, ESC for cars, automatic emergency braking systems, and we are convinced for this initiative to change definitely what is happening in, in, around the world, especially in the emerging economies. That what we want to see as part of this UN decade of action is all new passenger cars all around the world meeting the minimum UN safety standards and also standards for crash avoidance as well. It's extremely important that the UN process, these standards that are available to all manufacturers and to governments, are applied as universally as possible. And as we adopt the global goals, the sustainable development goals, with new targets to cut road deaths in half by 2020, it's even more important that we apply these standards across the board so that there's a level playing field, it's fair competition for all manufacturers, but even more important, it's fair for consumers. They're getting products that are safe in all markets of the world. The challenge in all of this is to make the consumer aware. Because once people know what's possible, know which car is safe, which car is unsafe, the technology that's available, electronic stability control and so forth, then they will buy them, they will push to have them. And of course, if they're aware of the potential of the new technologies for saving lives, they will push for that as well. But everything depends on people knowing about these things, and that's a communication problem. It's something where there's an enormous amount to be done, so it's very worth our while to every possible front to push this information. I've just hosted an event, I was very pleased to do so, which was to celebrate 20 years since the European Parliament passed some very important legislation about safety standards for new cars. Of course, we've now got them for Europe, but I know that Global NCAP is pushing to make sure those new test standards apply right across the world. What is really concerning is that we see safe cars in Europe, in North America, and then you can see exactly the same car driving around in Africa, in, in Latin America, in Asia. And the people driving the car may believe they sit in a safe car, but if they crash, they will almost certainly die because 
the airbag has been taken out because the frame is not solid enough because the car is constructed to save, save a few bucks uh, and that's killing lives uh, every single day. We have to stop it, we have to work with the car industry, we have to do the testing all over the world and, and therefore UNECE is working closely with global uh, MCAP to stop the crash.